Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of uh, Introduction to uh, the Archive app. While I'm introducing you to, uh, to another feature um, of our app, I will show you uh, part of my workflow that, or a part, yeah, a part of my workflow uh, that will demonstrate uh, what I'm talking about. So I'm switching to my um, to my own archive, which is still in NVAlt or managed by NVAlt. Um, so when I do um, knowledge work, I have um, two uh, two modes, uh, so to say. The first mode is uh, what I do all the time. So uh, sometimes I, um, I I write a note because of an email. Sometimes uh, here and there, it's like um, it's like an uh, amalgam that that uh, connects all my um, uh, mental and cognitive endeavors um, and uh, the the product. Uh, get stuck in the Zettelkasten uh, on my archive. But um, the other mode is more concentrated. I call it my deep work days. I'm writing currently on an um, on an article for the uh, for the blog um, to give you in depth insight to my deep work days or to the concept of deep work days uh, with the Zettelkasten and knowledge work. So. Imagine it is uh, Wednesday or Saturday, that are my deep work days in the morning. Uh, now I'm not working on a particular, a particular project, but um, I'm working I'm on a specific topic, topic, which means that I'm mostly um, processing a book into different notes. This or uh, the couple, the, the last two weeks, I think, it was this book. A very interesting, uh, interesting book. Um, now I'm uh, focusing very much on uh, the anal analytical psychology of Jung um, because I need it in my work. I now um, now I'm uh, very dependent on my uh, knowledge about the psyche, so I'm working on that, and it is part of my of of the bigger picture. Um, of my general work. So, um, Wednesday morning, I uh, open the book, I'm now at page 60, and I go through my annotations. What I do in NVAlt is I go into the Omnibar and type in QQ1. And now you see, um, you see a couple of um, Different, um, uh, different overview notes, or this is uh, why they have the additional, um, additional short part in in the heading. It's uh, an U uh, two, U is an umlaut, uh, a special German um, uh, German thing. I, I, I'm I don't know if any other language has umlauts, but uh, we know it from Germany. So. We have here, I uh, translated for you, uh, we have the initiation of the man, the self-development of man, um, self-development, you see, there are, um, uh, it's kind of a uh, category system that forms naturally out of uh, the structure notes uh, department of your, um, of the archive. This is um, uh, now postponed, I... Uh, Let's concentrate on the other stuff. The self, the myth, and archetypes of the man. So why is always uh, why is it uh, mostly of the man? Because it's about the archetypical uh, psyche or the um, collective unconsciousness of the psyche of the man. Um, so now I have uh, something what I call the first entrance point to my archive. That means if I'm working on this particular book, uh, which I do for a couple of weeks, uh, or will do uh, for another couple of weeks, I um, just type in QQ1, and you can see it here, um, that I 
added to the um, overview hashtag uh, WQ1. Um, this is kind of a, uh, just a bookmark, so these six nodes are bookmarked um, and from there I will um, fit in the notes that I uh, process out of uh, this book here. This is something uh, that will occur very often if you work on a specific topic or on a specific book. You either can um, have notes um, that are tied to a, a special book note. Uh, let's see. I hope, I hope, I hope. Like this. This, um, I don't know if it's translated, uh, this author. Uh, the book is called The the Road of the Elephants and um, it is a book about yeah, an adventurer who uh, goes to Africa and loses his heart to the uh, to the strange world in Africa um, and you see I have here uh, the different chapters uh, and I have here the, um, the different links to the uh, to the note and I have um, the page numbers also written in here. So this is um, how I um, create a note um, for a specific book. This is what you can do and I could have do it with um, this book here but th I decided not to because I know that this is not a book I will return to um, this is more a book of uh, um, that gives me some first structure to um, to the uh, collective unconsciousness, which uh, is worked out or was worked out by uh, Carl Jung. And um, therefore, I don't concentrate on uh, a note on the book, but rather um, go with a special department of my. Um, archive. So, um, the book is mostly about archetypes of the man um, and archetypes of the boy. You can see it here. I mark it for you, but I translate of course. It's uh, here, the archetypical, uh, the archetypes of um, boy psychology, of the immature uh, uh, psyche. Um, it's the divine child, the uh, precocious uh, child, the um, the Oedipal child and the hero <coughs> and uh, you can see now I'm working on the king I have a couple of notes for the warrior um, and uh, so on and so forth um, they, their work heavily depends on uh, the work of uh, Carl Gustav Jung and um, therefore I rather um, I rather uh, tie these notes or concentrate these notes uh, in the department of, um, uh, of psyche and especially, um, I, don't, I don't know uh, what it's in English, uh, it's, um, the direct translation would be called uh, deep psychology. Um, it's more the kind of, you know, uh, uh, you, you when you refer to uh, Freud, to uh, Adler, to Jung, um, all about the unconsciousness. Um, so to say. Um, so, imagine I write now a note about the um, the king. So I'm in the uh, in this book here. I'm uh, I'm in the chapter of the king, and I go to the king, and you can see here I have a couple um, of notes uh, um, already to the king, and if I write a cup, uh, note um, uh, regarding to the king. I go in here. Um, let's say I'm making English for you um, to make it easier. The king. Ignore all the typos. I'm very bad at the first part. Okay, let's, let's self-explain. Okay, why didn't I um, 
Uh, I type it out for you. Um, ascending dark type of the psyche. Um, this is what um, uh, would I do intuitively, and now I'm modifying the title. So this is uh, so I'm cutting all uh, what is not necessary. Um, article is not necessary, and king eccentric archetype is uh, as uh, of the psyche is not um, necessary because archetypes are always um, psychological. Um, archetypes are something that is embedded in um, our myths, our stories, um, and originate in um, in our past understanding and our evolution. If you are interested in, um, in this topic, I highly recommend Maps of Meaning from Jordan Patterson. Um, I think I, I just uh, uh, skipped through it uh, at this moment, but um, his uh, lectures are very, very awesome, and uh, he's a very great thinker, uh, and I'm referring to him. So, to me, of the psyche is absolutely unnecessary because I um, will always remember this in my whole life. So, um, I click on it, the automatic, uh, it, just a search basically, and um, now we have this uh, here, and we are, will create a node, and now I'm um, king. Okay. Um, um, okay, let, let's uh, do it off. Why do I don't? I wouldn't um, uh, take it with archetype because um, I distinct. Um, I call it ontological uh, tags and um, uh, tags on the theme. Tags on the theme means that you um, are referring uh, with a tag to a, a special topic. Um, that would be archetypes. I could type in um, psyche or collective unconsciousness. And um, ontological notes um, refer to the thing, the, um, the entity. Um, this uh, note is all about, or are used in, um, or mentioned in this note. So um, I always, or I just stick to the ontological notes that has uh, um, a cleaning purpose, or they have a clean archive. Because if, uh, if you um, tag uh, from the topic, it will get very messy if you have um, large quantities of notes. So imagine. If I search for uh, nutrition, Ernährung in German, I have 577 notes. So this to search for nutrition is just not is, is just not working. And now imagine I uh, here this is uh, this this is an um, an article about a very old article about um, uh, casein. Casein is a, uh, a protein um, that uh, is contained in milk or that uh, it happens to be in milk and um, it's just about the timing um, of a, or a reason why casein could be um, uh, could be a thing. But this has nothing to do with uh, nutrition. It's not a note about nutrition. It's not a note referring to nutrition. It's a, um, it's a note that uh, could fall under the broader topic of nutrition. But I'm not. If I'm searching about nutrition, I would rather find um, uh, notes that are really about the nutrition. So back to the. Note centering archetype. Um, so now I will fill it. Let's say king is is the centering centering archetype.
King. So if you're not familiar with uh, the um, archetypical nature of the psyche, uh, this might sounds, uh, sound very strange, um, um, but um, uh, let it be and uh, let it happen for now. Um, so this would be um, what I do now. I copy, let's imagine, I would uh, do another text here, uh, psychic energy perhaps. And so on and so forth. Now I copy uh, the, um, the title and I type in double U. This is this are my structural notes that I go routinely if I'm um, going through um, my archive and connect the notes um, or, or integrate. Um, uh, the new written note. So this is a note, um, a structure note about a book I'm writing. Um, the, you can see a buffers uh, and see this just uh, the just list. So I uh, didn't uh, didn't sort it out. So I just um, I'm just typing. For example, with this uh, king stuff, I um, this is uh, a speech I'm pre uh, preparing. I would I could add it to um, the anti-fragile nature of the psyche. This is a uh, um, topic uh, for this uh, speech. And um, just type it in here, or just copy, let's say... Okay, it doesn't matter, you <laughs> can't understand German most of the part. So I would uh, just copy it in here and then uh, give it a link context. So perhaps um, this demonstrates... demonstrates the hierarchical uh, nature of anti-fragility uh, regards the psyche, zum Beispiel. Uh, uh, for example, uh, this um, what I do with all the buffer nodes. So mm -hmm. this is, um, and their books are already written. For example, here the Zettelkasten method. Um, the second edition is coming. This is something that's uh, for the third edition. And um, I have tags for novels, um, some questions that are uh, unsorted, uh, creative or being in the flow with uh, unclear or uh, unknown goals. Um, ask two things uh, that I will consider and this of course uh, the king note I just wrote um, is not very important for this buffer but um, just for your information some buffers are um, for future projects some buffers are for um, past projects that I will maintain and some buffers are just um, as trigger notes so uh, they contain more of a topic um, and um, when I read it or when I see the topic and connect it with a, a note, sometimes I have a new note that I uh, just write in the trigger note um, uh, or the note that uh, should trigger me. And um, uh, then from time to time I'm emptying this trigger note. So, and then I go through and uh, this is my life. I uh, have... Um, my life plan also in my uh, archive. Uh, we have the Maslowian um, uh, hierarchy of needs, uh, mobility, the social, whatever it means. As uh, it's this social, all about uh, social things. It's about self improvement, um, purpose of life, movement, uh, being a personal trainer, software agnostic programming. Um, 
EMF, non it's uh, electro electromagnetic fields um, that are important uh, for uh, your um, wireless LAN and something uh, like that. Code adaption, and you see it's um, it changes from time to time, and every uh, node has this uh, little tag extra. Um, so this um, uh, these kind of tags are important or very useful to um, to give you very fast access to something uh, you want to access repeatedly. So for me, it is what I primary. Um, or what my primary focus is for uh, the sessions, I think no. Mostly it is uh, WQ1 for uh, my first entrance, WQ2 uh, could be now the king, because uh, this is the primary node, um, uh, the primary node of, um, of my concern, so I'm working through uh, the chapter of the king in this book and therefore I normally start here and go f and spread uh, the love note, the, um, the links to other notes um, from here. Um, important is that you are uh, kind of lucid uh, when you do that so uh, it's not always the routine that I'm going through but also uh, for example here um, Perhaps I would, uh, this is uh, kind of uh, uh, lyric uh, what I wrote, perhaps I would um, make a connection to <coughs> some things about uh, fantasy novels um, I have also in my archive. Um, so, now we change finally to, um, to the archive, so the archive app. This so you can see here on the left side you can see saved searches and um, I think a couple of weeks ago, I don't know how long it was, I um, um, wrote the archive introduction, it's more of the first draft. Um, so when I started the archive app, I wrote it in the archive app um, to be part of the testing process. Um, I always refer to archive app. So this would be the search I go um, to so the ND core uh, you already know about. This is the overview node um, and so on and so forth. But when I do something like here, for example, I, I search for banana, then I would go, uh, then I have to uh, type it in here. Also go uh, in the um, uh, in the omnibar and uh, and uh, search for the stack to go in here. What I now can do is um, do it like okay, just click on here. So clicking is not the preferred mode. Uh, the archive app. Um, lacks this function for now, but it will implement it in the next or over next, I don't know, um, uh, versions of the beta version, not versions of the beta version, subversions um, perhaps, um, and then you can access um, the saved searches. This is the feature, um, the saved searches just with a hotkey. So um, this would be um, archive app, so I refer to like command 2, I would type. And then I'm already here in this thing. Um, what I now this this is a very uh, uh, very small department of an archive, so I can refer just to the tag. If it would be bigger, then I would go in um, this overview node to start from here. Um, you can see this list is here. Um, but more in a structured way. So, to wrap it all up, um, we have safe search, uh, searches a, because uh, you will find yourself to... Um, you will find yourself... Oh, not very big. 
um, you, you will find yourself to go to the same department of uh, notes over and over again if you work on a specific topic. So, um, because everything in orientation or every maneuvering in the archive is just searching or in NVArt or in uh, the, um, the archive app. So, when it's always searching and you always type in the search, um, or you always search the same thing, that is a very good candidate to, um, to have a shortcut, uh, to have a feature that covers uh, this need. So, we did it. We did it with um, the saved searches that will provide just a hotkey and uh, you can assign um, a different, okay, different um, search terms. So, let's imagine I, let's see, uh, it's not seen for you, okay, I need to present it later. Um, you can edit it, of course, it contains um, this filter, oh, this, um, uh, this saved search contains a title and a search term. So, if you search here, you can see that the search is added and this is something that will not happen, it will not add it, but um, the function is just to type in the term you are you defined here for the safe search just in the middle. So you are streamlining the process. I hope in context of um, the other workflow it makes sense to you. If not, then comment it. If yes, comment it uh, also please. Goodbye.